अगर आपको कोई वस्तु कोई व्यक्ति पसंद नहीं है तो वहाँ से दूर चले जाइए आप कोई वृक्ष तो नहीं इफ़ यू डोंट लाइक समथिंग और सम वन मूव अवे वन और ट्री Now let's first discuss about the previous letters. There are fourteen types of previous letters, but on the basis of their side length, that is A, B, C, and angle alpha, beta, gamma, we divided it into seven types. That is, first is cubic, <coughs> and this all the sides are equal, and all the angles are equal, and they are also equal to ninety degree. Example is NaCl, KCl, then. Uh, NaCl, KCl, copper, and zinc sulfide, and in this. The type of unit cells are primitive, BCC, FCC. Three types of unit cells and cubic is found. Then next is rhombohedral. In rhombohedral, all the sides are equal, and uh, all the angles are also equal, but they are not equal to ninety degree. Example under rhombohedral is calcite and cinnabar. Calcite, calcium carbonate, cinnabar, mercuric sulfide. They are called cal uh, calcite and cinnabar only when they are found in, found in their ore form. And uh, in rhombohedral only primitive type of unit cell is found. Then next is monoclinic. In this, uh, sides are not equal to each other. And uh, but alpha is equal to gamma is equal to ninety degree. But beta is not equal to ninety degree. Example under monoclinic is monoclinic sulfur. Then uh, Grober salt that is decahydrated sodium sulfate and lead chromate PbCrO4. And in this two types of unit cells are found. That is primitive and End center in primitive the number of atoms in a unit cell is one and in end center the unit of the number of atoms in a unit cell is two. Then the next triclinic in this neither sides nor angle are equal and angles are also not equal to ninety degree. Example boric acid H three BO three potassium dichromate and blue vitriol penta hydrated cupric sulfate is called blue vitriol and in this also in triclinic only primitive type of unit cell is found then next is tetragon and this a is equal to b not equal to c about length and uh, angles all angles are equal to 90 degree example under tetragon is tin white tin white tin calcium sulfate and titanium oxide and this primitive and bcc only two types of unit cells are found then uh, next uh, after tetragon there is hexagon and this also a is equal to b but not equal to c And uh, in hexagon, alpha is equal alpha is equal to beta is equal to ninety degree plus gamma, and gamma is equal to one twenty degree. And example under rhombohedral, sorry, example under hexagonal is ice, graphite, cadmium sulfide, and zinc oxide. In hexagon, only primitive type of unit cell is found. Then after orthorhombic, in orthorhombic, sides are not equal to each other, but All angles are equal and they are also equal to 90 degree. And example under rhombo, uh, ortho rhombic is matchbox, calcite and barium sulfate. Calcite, calcium carbonate and barium. In ortho rhombic, all the type of unit cells that is primitive and centered BCC, FCC. All the types of unit cells are found. Then after that come to the that is radius ratio. Radius ratio is the ratio of cation. Uh, divided by radius of anion. Then, if the radius ratio lies between point one five five to point two two five, then the coordination number is three. Example is of planar barium oxide Ba two O three, aluminium chloride AlCl three. Then, if the radius ratio lies between point one five five to point four one four, then uh, the uh, coordination number is four. Example tetragon is zinc sulfide. Then, if the radius ratio lies between point four one four to point seven three two, then the radius, uh, then the coordination number is six. And uh, example is octahedral is uh, NaCl. And uh, if the radius ratio lies between point seven three two to point nine 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 or one, then uh, the coordination number is eight. And uh, example BC uh, cesium chloride shows BCC structure. Then after the packing friction. The maximum packing fraction is seen in FCC that is seventy four percent, and uh, in BCC sixty eight percent, and in simple cubic it is, or primitive cells uh, it is fifty two percent is there. And uh, to calculate the density of unit cell, formula is Z into m divided by 
n into a cube z number of atoms in a unit cell m molar mass and Avogadro number and a is the edge length then in body diagonal it is 4r is equal to root 3a in f uh, face centered it's in fcc unit cells uh, 4r is equal to root 2a and uh, now next uh, let's talk about that is para uh, magnetic magnetic properties paramagnetism which are weakly attracted by the magnetic field is called are called paramagnetism and the example under paramagnetism is oxygen o molecular orbital theory mot says that oxygen molecule is paramagnetic then you can also calculate by the formula that is sigma 1 is 2 sigma asterisk 1 is 2 then uh, sigma 2 is sigma asterisk 2 s then uh, sigma 2 p z then pi 2 p x is equal to pi 2 p y then uh, pi asterisk 2 p x is equal to pi asterisk 2 p y then uh, sigma asterisk 2 uh, p z by this formula you can calculate that uh, mot says that oxygen molecule is diamagnet uh, sorry paramagnetic then the example of paramagnetic is oxygen ferric ferrous Ferric is Fe3 positive, ferrous is Fe2 positive, cupric Fe2 positive and Cr3 positive. And uh, diamagnetism, diamagnetism it's a universal property but in other materials it is in paramagnetic, in uh, ferro, ferry, antiferry it is overweighed by other properties also. Then uh, what is, uh, do you know what is Misner's effect that is? Uh, magnet repel uh, super cooled materials and uh, super cooled liquids or materials and this effect is called Meissner's effect so perfect diamagnetism and uh, now what we are talking uh, we were talking that is diamagnetism example water NaCl and benzene then ferromagnetism ferromagnetic substances are strongly attracted by the magnetic field and they have net dipole moment and the example is phiconi iron cobalt nickel phiconi then after that is gadolinium and uh, CrO2 is also there then uh, anti ferromagnetic it has a uh, uh, net dipole moment zero and uh, the example is MnO then ferry magnetism and the examples under ferry magnetism is uh, that is ferrite and magnetite ferrite is Fe3O4 and a uh, different type of magnetite is that is Mg Fe2O3 and uh, Z and Fe2O3 then uh, next uh, about the that is uh, fluorite CaF2 it's a fluorite and, and in this the coordination number is 8 is to 8 is to 4 and in antifluoride the coordination number is 4 is to 8 NCL shows FCC structure coordination number 6 is to 6 6 ratio 6 then uh, BCC type of uh, uh, unit cell is shown by cesium chloride cesium chloride cesium bromide cesium iodide and the coordination number is 8 is to 8 then and CCP CCP is also FCC and in this coordination number is 4 is to 4 and uh, the type of unit cells example is uh, that is uh, copper chloride, copper bromide, copper iodide, AGI and zinc sulfide. Coordination number 4 is to 4. Then sto uh, defects of the unit cell that is stoichiometric defect and non stoichiometric defect. defect. That is stoichiometric in this the ratio of cation and anion remains same but uh, a non stoichiometric effect defect it doesn't remain same example of a stoichiometric defect that is short key defect in this equal number of cation and anion are missing from their lattice site electrical neutrality is maintained but density decreases and this type of de defect is seen in the crystals having a high coordination number that is 6 to 8 6 or 8 and the size of cation and anions are similar example is NaCl KCl, cesium chloride and AgBr then after this F centered F centered defect that is in this the generally 
uh, iron or usually a cation is missing from their lattice site uh, lattice site electrical neutrality is maintained density uh, of crystal is also maintained and uh, this uh, this was f center defect and this type of defect f center defect is shown by uh, the ions or the molecules having low coordination number and the similar in size example is zinc sulfide agi and agbr that is agbr shows both type of defect that is short key as well as frinkle defect it shows short key defect because of highly ionic nature and it shows a frinkle defect because dissimilar ions and uh, now non stoichiometric defect and this is the f center defect uh, that was not f center it, uh, that was the frankel's defect uh, in which we have talked about the, that is it was shown by low uh, ions having low coordination number and dissimilar size now uh, under non stoichiometric defect it is f center defect means far present far bent center means origin of color it's a german word and this uh, ion on, usually uh, an anion is missing from its lattice site and occupies the interstitial site to maintain the electrical neutrality other electrons occupies that empty space and the entrapped electron becomes the reason of the origin of a color that's why uh, this is called f center defect and uh, due to this the color of uh, sodium chloride is yellow of kcl that is black salt violet and lithium chloride pink then extra cation defect in this extra cation is trapped in the interstitial site and electrons are entrapped at the neighboring uh, interstitial sites uh, it is more similar like frankel's defect and uh, uh, this is the reason due to this reason the conductivity of a zinc oxide crystal increases manifold and uh, uh, when uh, it turns yellow and when it becomes again uh, on cooling it again turns on white zinc oxide is the whitest substance on the earth and it's also called chinese white universal white philosopher's wool then calamine and flower of zinc zinc oxide uh, will break down into or decompose into zinc two positive ion plus half of oxygen plus two electron and uh, so next let's see what is the remaining defect previous lattice then yeah about the colloid that is uh, three states are generally seen that is solid state liquid state and gaseous state so if you will multiply 3 into 3 means there should be 9 type of colloids but there are only 8 types of colloids where is the ninth that is the mixture of gases are not heterogeneous they are homogeneous means solution the mixture of solids are always heterogeneous but the mixture of alloys are not uh, heterogeneous they are homogeneous that is mixture of het uh, solids are always heterogeneous but a mixture of uh, alloys are homogeneous and mixture of gases are always are also homogeneous then uh, like in solution we were studying like solvent and solute and in this in colloids we will study about we will uh, change the term that is dispersion phase and dispersion medium dispersion phase here is equivalent to solute and dispersion medium is equivalent to solvent now let's see that is mixture of solid and solid here our medium is solid and other whatever uh, the next time talking they will be uh, that is dispersion phase so medium now is a solid the mixture of solid and solid means <coughs> medium is solid and the phase is also solid then it is called solid sol and example is colored glasses and gemstones all the precious stones are the mixture of solid and solid then medium is solid and the phase is liquid means liquid in solid it's called gel and the example under gel is gel and jellies and that is cheese and gas in solid medium is solid and gas is phase 
gas in solid and it is called solid soul example is pumice stone and pumice stone and um foam rubber pumice stone and foam foam rubber now the medium is liquid liquid in liquid means emulsion it's called in this is called this colloidal solution is called soul is called emulsion and example is milk hair cream and uh, milk is there hair cream and uh, one more was there just wait it was butter milk hair cream and butter now solid in liquid means liquid is medium solid is phase it is called solid in liquid and it's called soul and example is cell fluid our cell also has uh, 70 to 90 percent water and 10 to 15 percent protein that's why that is soul and example is cell fluid and paint then gas in liquid gas in liquid is foam example is it's called foam and uh, froth soap leather and webbed cream then about the medium is gas and the phase is now solid in gas it's uh, now it is called aerosol and example is dust and smoke then liquid in gas it is called it is also called aerosol then cloud fog mist and insecticide spray is also here then the mixture of gases and gases are homogeneous so we completed eight types of colloid next is uh, that is uh, positively and negatively charged colloids positively charged colloids that is uh, all the um, hydrated metallic oxides are positively charged colloids then the example under positively charged colloid is all the positive all the hydrated metallic oxide then basic dye so uh, stuff that is uh, methylene blue solution then hemoglobin hemoglobin has ferrous fe2 positive and uh, then uh, titanium oxide so then example under negatively charged soul that is all the metal oxide uh, metal salts that is copper silver metal source that is copper silver gold then acetic acid dye stuff yosin and congo red soul then sulfide metal sulfide that is arsenic sulfide cadmium sulfide and antimony sulfide and uh, other that is starch gum gelatin clay and charcoal that were the examples of positively and negatively charged colloids that's all thanks for watching